Hello, uh, I'm Alan from Jungle Works, and today I am going to talk about our new feature, Agent Incentives. Uh, Agent Incentives can be used to reward your delivery guys for pre-established goals which you have set. So let's jump on extensions. So first we need to activate it, and it's it's a free extension. Let's just search agent incentives. Here we go. And now we need to configure it first. And I would click on enable incentive and then submit. Once we have done that, uh, it should appear in our settings. Here we go. So here we can uh, define a target plan and once we have done that and we can create as many as we want. We can create different plans and then assign it to different teams as per our requirement. So you can see I've already created three plans over here. Uh, let's just create another one. So first we need to give it a name. I'll give it plan four. And then we have an option to set a task target so for example we can set five here and then here we can enter the incentive so let's just say we keep it ten dollars so what it means for the first five tasks agent will get so after he has finished five tasks he will get an incentive of ten dollars okay on top of uh, agent earnings okay and we can add as many figures as we want so okay I'm going to add ten 20. So once he has finished 10 tasks in a day, then he will get $20 for that. So that's what it means. So if he has completed 10 tasks, so he's getting $10 for the first five. And then on the 10th, uh, on completion of the 10th, he would get another 20. So it means after completing 10 tasks in a day, uh, the agent would be getting $30. And then we can uh, go on or uh, depending on our requirement. So let's just keep it uh, till here. And then uh, here's another for task target. So what it means that let's just say after our 10th task uh, uh, based on nature of your business, it is going to be uh, really tough to achieve 15 tasks or 16 tasks in a day. So you also have an option to pay per task. So after, so we can, so we've already uh, kept an incentive till 10th task. Now after that, I'm going to mention 11 and then 11 to 20. And then task incentive 5. So what it means from 11th till 20th, for each task, an agent would get an extra $5. Okay, so let's just take a, a hypothetical scenario. An agent has, a, has done 12 tasks in a day. So what it means, you would be getting a $10 in incentive for completing first five tasks. And then for completing the 10th task, you would get another $20. And then for the 11th and 12th task, you would get $5 each. So that would be 10 plus 20, 30 plus 35 plus another $5, so $40. He would be earning $40 incentive in a day for completing 12 tasks. Okay, now create a plan. Here we go. Now we can see plan four, which we have just created. Uh, we can also edit these plans anytime or delete them if we want to from here. Now let's just assign it. So now that we have created uh, different plans, uh, we will discuss how to assign them to teams. Okay. So click on assign team. You can select team from here and then select plan duration. Uh, now we can assign these tasks uh, based on these three different types daily weekly monthly so if we go into daily uh, as it says so we can assign different plan or same plan for each day and if for let's just say for a day you do not want to assign any any plan uh, just click on no plan just make sure that you do select something from here uh, if you do not then it will give us an error See, it says select plan for Monday. 
So if you do not want to select a plan, uh, click on no plan. Okay, and that's it. Now we'll look into weekly. Okay, so we have like six weeks here. So what it means, so week one is first week of the month, obviously. So, uh, so we'll take an example of December 2020. Uh, week one will be from first, which is Tuesday, and it will end on Saturday fifth. And week two will start on Sunday sixth, and it will end on twelfth, and and so on. So, for example, so this is fifth week, right? Uh, it starts on twenty seventh, and it will end on thirty first. Okay, and from first uh, January first week one so whatever plan we have chosen here that will be applied uh, so how i hope that it makes sense so once we have selected different plans here create and here we go and once we have assigned a plan uh, to a particular team, all of the agents in that team, uh, they will also be able to see uh, their their incentive plan for a day in their agent app. Uh, we will look into that uh, towards the end of this video, that how it will appear on, on the agent app. Okay, and then let's look at the last one, which is monthly. So you can select plan monthly wise, so whatever plan you select here, it will be apply to the whole month and then once we have selected all or no plan just click on create and that's it so now so far we have discussed how to create a plan and then how to assign it to a team uh, now from history you can check how much your agents have earned and you can set the timeline from here if you have too many of the agents you can uh, search agent from here okay and then check how much they've earned and it gets updated after a day time so so whatever earnings an agent have earned today it will appear tomorrow okay, so it takes a day time okay, so now let's uh, look into that how agent incentives would appear in agent app okay so just go to the menu uh, look for incentives if in case it doesn't appear here make sure that you have updated your app uh, click on incentives okay so this is how it would appear for every day uh, agent will be able to see the number of tasks which he has completed uh, his next goal like over here uh, it says task 5 so he needs to complete 5 tasks for which he would get a $10 incentive and then it shows uh, the whole day's target as well uh, so as we defined uh, previously in, in, in the video that how for the first five tasks he would get ten dollars and then even if he completes uh, ten tasks in a day uh, twenty dollars and then after that he would get five dollars for each task after eleven okay and uh, agent would be able to see the whole day's earning on the top right corner of the screen here it says 0.5 